Here's a story that absolutely broke my heart. Homeless man freezes to death at Ohio bus stop during Christmas holiday. A homeless man froze to death. By the way, I go to well over a dozen websites when I prep for the show. And one of them had a story on this. So this doesn't, this didn't, of course this didn't make the nightly news, CBS, ABC, NBC, all those. Didn't make that, didn't make CNN, didn't make Fox News, of course not. Didn't make MSNBC. Uh, so none of the mainstream media outlets cover it. But you get one website, and print usually does a decent job. I mean, that's where we get all the information for this show, from print outlets. And print outlets do a decent job usually, way better than mainstream uh, TV. But only one of the outlets covered it. A guy froze to death in the richest country on earth on Christmas. So it was in Cincinnati. Um, Ken Martin is the man's name. Apparently he struggled with addiction and he volunteered for uh, a local homeless shelter. Now, he he wasn't high at the time of death. There, were no, there was no drug paraphernalia around him. He was just outside and it was really freezing and he died. By the way, uh, according to the article on this, they don't have a 24-hour homeless shelter in the area. So, you know, perhaps that's the route that could have prevented him from dying if there was a 24-hour homeless shelter. And this is what I think drives a lot of people crazy who actually care about this stuff, you know? You're telling me you couldn't find the money in the state budget in Ohio for a homeless shelter. Couldn't do it, huh? You don't have the money for that. I'm sure you have money for tax breaks for corporations, but you don't have money for a homeless shelter. Make sure people don't die. And in the country, you know? What, we don't... You know the new F-35, the new fighter jet, which, by the way, did we even need a new one? Pretty sure the old ones were just fine. But we need to fight ISIS's air force. We need it, of course. Um, it costs over a trillion dollars to make this new F-35. Over a trillion dollars. So we have a trillion dollars for that. We have 70 billion more, or 80 billion, for the increase in the military budget. Which, by the way, is enough to, um, you know, fund free college. There's a big article on that. Just the increase in the military budget is enough to fund Bernie Sanders' free college proposal. So it's not, they're not saying, hey, the entire military budget is enough to fund free college. They're saying just the increase in military spending from last year to this year is enough to fund free college. So we could have kept the military budget the same, which, by the way, is still way too high, and had the money. For free college. But no, they never, for you, never. They never, ever, ever give a fuck about you. So, we have $80 billion for more for military spending, $100 billion for all of our bases, 900 bases around the world, a trillion dollars um, for the new F-35, $80 billion a year for corporate welfare for the banks, we have, what was the Wall Street bailout? I think it was $17 trillion, something like that. $18 trillion bailout, thereabouts. I might be off by a trillion or two here or there. Um, but, you know, they couldn't find fucking, what? $12 million for a homeless shelter? $15 million for a homeless shelter? 24-hour homeless shelter? Okay. I need you guys to know these numbers and commit them to heart. These, these numbers are as of 2016. There are 39,471 homeless veterans in the United States. So people who went to go fight for the U.S. 39,471 homeless veterans. Overall homeless, 564,708. Over half a million people homeless. We have endless money for bailouts, endless money for Wall Street and defense contractors, and war. But we don't have enough money to take over a little over 500,000 homeless people off the streets. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, it would save money if we did that. So there was a study that came out a few years back. I think... It costs about 30000 to leave a homeless person on the street. 
because they end up going to jail and they end up, you end up having to pay in, in a bunch of different ways, whether they go to the hospital or they end up in jail. So it costs about $30,000 a year to keep them on the street, to give them like a small one bedroom apartment and just give them like a little place to stay. Cost ten thousand dollars a year, so you would save money if you took all the homeless people off the street. You would save money, and you wouldn't have fucking people freezing to death on Christmas. Isn't that wild to think about? It's like with Medicare for all. If we don't do Medicare for all over the next decade, our healthcare system costs forty nine trillion. If we do it, it would cost thirty two trillion. So we would save seventeen trillion dollars over the next decade if we did Medicare for all. But what's the argument from people who are against it? We can't afford it. Can't afford it. We can't afford not to do it. We can't afford to take homeless people off the street. Can't afford it. We can't afford not to take homeless people off the street. So here we have an answer that's correct morally and ethically, as well as financially and fiscally. But we still don't do it. It's disgusting, and it's a fucking shame. And this should be a real scandal that the media is talking about for days. I know they want to talk about how Donald Trump sips his fucking sippy cup, sips his water like a baby. You know, I know they want to talk about Russia nonstop, but maybe spare a little bit of time to discuss how in the richest country in the world, a man just froze to death outside because he's homeless.